Hey guys, it's Mario, and there's been such a po lot of positive feedback through both Whispers and YouTube and so on for uh, the mech mine play, where you go see your tank with a mine, so I thought I would show you guys another game. So I play this one with, you know, just the intention for you. I do my little favorite opener where I go gas, but I make a little twist. I've noticed that the gas has been kind of tight, so what if I throw in an extra gas geyser? But let's, you know, I don't fully saturate it. So it's just an idea that I, w that I wanted to try this game and then transition into with a mine tank so you guys can see another game with it. Um, one of the requests was show us a game where, you know, you face either Colossi or Storm or and Storm. And in this one, we face Storm, uh, eventually. I mean, it gets to a stage where uh, the player does have Storm before our final push. So, In this specific build order, we're going to get the Refinery, the second one, and then transfer another uh, SUV from the other one. So it kind of gets up to 2-2. Two, two. So we have four mining instead of three regularly. You can see the build order for this in the recently previous videos, in the guide that I put out. Uh, with the exception of the new refinery. So we skip the marine and we go for the reactor right away because we notice, hey, we have the gas. And then we, you know, so skipping the marine gives us the minerals for the refinery. So that was nice. He scouts it, he sees everything we're doing. You know, we, we got the supply depot just finished and straight away, there's the starport. And um, the timing seemed to be pretty crisp. So it seems to be working out. I do like this. In the sense that if there is a one base all in uh, against you, then you can just put in the gas geyser and go for like a Raven, Siege Tank, Marine, you know, or, or Banshee, and just be in a really, really, really good spot defensive wise. So it's a little bit less aggressive pushing power, but definitely still defensive pushing power. And in this case, we saw the Stargate. So we knew that a you know an oracle could be underway. So we got a widow mine instead of the third heligan. We just planted in our mineral lines. And we're gonna go ahead and you know push out do the attack. But we're also dropping an expansion, making sure that it's in the proper place. Seeing if there's any workers there. There aren't. So we're just gonna lift up to the high ground and get another widow mine and a viking just in case he makes you know in, instead of oracles he also commits to like phoenix and stuff. We wanted to drop the marine out of the meta hike to pick up the Hellion because I, we believe it would have been better in the long run, but we weren't able to, so that was unfortunate. A little bit of a supply block, so that's a shame, but now we have a deep bone of command center coming, so we're more than fine in another supply deep bone. The minerals are definitely in an alright place right now. Uh, the opponent, he's not really chrono boosting his workers. We only killed one worker, and he wasn't really um, making more out of the second nexus uh, because he was afraid of the push. So that helped us out in our favor. That means the game is still relatively even. And, um, you know, we're just making our SCVs and supply depots, and we're getting a third gas. So right now we're just going for the Raven Marine Siege Tank. And after the Raven, we're going to go for the Banshee. Uh, the single Viking definitely helps a lot against Oracles, because even if you have stuff in your mineral lines, they might try to like pick off the edges. So the Viking helps a lot. Uh, if you see a Stargate opener, I definitely recommend getting a Viking, at least a single one. Now we send the Widow Mines out across the map to do a little bit of scouting. You know, they're just going to be a little vision for up front. So that way, we don't have to make bunkers too early if he's doing some sort of night 2 base bus. We're getting Cloak. Since we have these early gas geysers, we actually have a lot of resources. And I actually don't end up using the Cloak. I kind of botch an attack and forget I have the Cloak. Because I don't normally get it. So that's kind of our, our fault. But we don't lose the Banshees or the army. We end up pulling it up uh, in a little bit of a different way. Now we're sending the Widow Mines to the third possible locations. So that we know when he gets his third base. Because then we can drop our third base. The later he gets the third base, the more likely he is to be able to Getting our fourth Gas Geyser. Because we want to do an explosion of the factories. There's our third command center. So now we kind of want to explode in the factory. Uh, we don't need the extra marines that are coming out now, but we're, we're still busy repositioning everything and getting everything in order that uh, we're just pumping out two extra ones. I probably could have cut them, and I probably should have. So here come the factories. We're going to go up to a total of four, so we're going to build three. 
and we're going to build one on the reactor and two outside of it. We can go up to a fifth reactor if you're feeling pretty well. If you think that your your third is going to survive. In this case, you can also just be greedy. So we're going up to a total of five factories. At the most, you would want two tech labs with this. Because the Widow Mine Siege Tank is very, very gas intensive. Now we have a good idea of any time he comes across the map with a ground unit. Um, just overall, pretty good, uh, good spread. So we're going to do a little bit of a poke, a little timing push. We scanned them, we didn't really see any high tech, so that's definitely in our favor. Um, you know, we're kind of hoping he kind of stepped to a lot of gateway units. At least, you know, not, nothing crazy like mass star gate units. Swap the add-ons. Build the marine, or build the siege tank. We don't mind. We don't want to get that third tech lab. We want to stick to two. It kind of pushes out across the map a little bit, but judging from what's on the mini map, we knew we were fine, so we were sending to the gas passers anyway. We killed the observer, so I really should have cloaked, but I didn't. I was kind of looking down, and here he comes. And I'm like, ah, oh, shit, siege, you know. And I'm like, all right, well. If he's got high Templar already and he's working towards Storm and he's got a lot of Zealots, maybe he has charge and we don't want to get overrun. So let's go ahead and go back home and just use the Raven for an attack. Now we're making some Vikings because we want to clear out Observers and we're making Siege Tank. We don't, we don't need too many Vikings. Three or four at the most is a pretty decent number and we get an Engineering phase so we can get some Missile Turrets up and so on. Send the Raven a little bit behind the back, try to get the Hunter Seeker missile. Let's see how many workers we end up killing. So we end up killing five workers for just energy. That's not that bad. I mean, we're actually ahead in the worker count, so it's great. We're ahead in the game. Um, he hasn't gotten his third yet. We assumed that he was going to get it soon, but we don't have confirmation. But now he's pushing out across the map, so we're like, alright. You're gonna do an attack, and he does move over for a widow mine, so that's definitely a nice risk. Not only do we get to see the attack, but we get to see, you know, um, we get to see our units killing some. Now we do drop a missile turret right behind the widow mines up front, so that in case there's a detector, he's got to push slowly, and he can't really push fast into the siege tank. But he is pushing quite fast, and he's coming in. Now, the Widow Mines are doing a lot of damage to the Talents, and he has plus two armor, so our Marines are pretty useless at this stage. Uh, we are sieged, but he's killing a lot of our tanks with the Phoenix lifting and the Immortals, you know, just right behind them. Uh, them we're picking up the last few. So he ends up taking down our core army, but we still have a lot of Widow Mines. If you look at the supply, we're not in a terrible place. So this isn't really a time to panic yet. We know that we're making a lot of units and, you know, we got to start the drilling clause. That's a little bit late, so that's a little bit troublesome, but it's just a few units and if we can surround them, then we'll be more than fine. Scan that to try to pick off the observer, which is always important. You gotta save some scans so you can pick off observers. Try to pull back, save the siege things. Some more zealots coming in. Try to lure them over the widow mines. And we're just burrowing them as they come out of the factory. Now, one of the reasons this isn't that bad is that yes, we're losing siege tanks, but we're preserving the widow mines, which means that we'll need to make less widow mines in the future. I mean, if it gets to the stage where we end up with like 20, 30 widow mines. We can just, you know, get mass tech labs and go for nothing but siege tanks because we already have the buffer in the little mines. Or we can get some help outs, you know, with the siege tanks. And then we don't have to worry about it. Or you can just make more little mines. But, um, so we scanned the third. We wanted to know if there was one because if there was, we want to do a little bit of an attack. And there is, so we're going to go for some pressure. We know that he doesn't have quite splash yet unless it is in the form of storm. So storm is underway. And um, it's not quite finished yet. We want to scan, see so kind of what's there. We know that burrow is done, so we just charge in. We know that, all right, um, we can get pretty close and burrow and take out a lot of your stuff. And we do. We take out most of his ground forces with that. Scan to kill the observer. 
I just have to be a little careful. So the Widow Mines are in a pretty good spot, and we know now that he's going to have to occur another set of observers to go ahead and get rid of them. So the moment that our units are being attacked, we know there's an observer, we can try to scan and kill it if he has bad positioning. So we see it, he retreats it, but we have a Viking, so we send the Viking over to chase it, siege, drop some Widow Mines. Just kind of keep him away from our army. You know, we don't want them near our... Our widow mines. And we do end up killing both observers, so he's gotta wait for more. But he gets a little too impatient, and he goes ahead and crawls over a widow mines, and that breaks the game. You know, he's pretty much dead at this stage. There's not much he can do. I mean, he's got the widow mines over here, and he's trying to do a counter attack. So. Um, I mean, he's got the high templar for the storm drop. And he does end up trying to storm, but we do kill. Because it already had some shield damage. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thanks for watching. And um, I think the next video is going to be a, a Zerg one or a Protoss one. Actually, I'm uploading a Zerg one now. Um, so it'll be a Protoss one. And have a good day, guys. I guess that's the way the cookie crumbles. <laughs>